Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Big fight here on Friday night between Shannon Courtney and Dorota Norick. Eight rounds, a very important moment in the career of Shannon Courtney, of course. A fantastic fight, a fight camp against Rachel Ball could have gone either way. This fight, 118 pounds, some nine pounds, I believe, eight pounds lighter than the Rachel Ball fight at fight camp. We'll start with you, Shannon. I know you put a lot of pressure on yourself for this fight. You've trained very, very hard. You've locked yourself away. Feeling the nerves, important moment in your career coming off the Rachel Ball defeat. Yeah, I think there's nerves every fight and obviously coming off a loss, I've got to prove myself now, but um, pressure is a privilege. If there's no pressure, that means no one believes in you. So I'm taking it in my stride. And yeah, I've, I've made the choice to move. Uh, so I'm now living in a hotel next to my camp. So I've made a lot of sacrifices, but it's paid off because like you said, I'm, I'm at 118 for the first time. So I think it's time to make a statement. That fight could have gone either way. I know a lot of people felt you won that fight. You felt you won that fight as well. It was over eight rounds. I remember going back to the changing room that night and you, you, you were in complete shock. You know, you got off the, the canvas, a heavy knockdown in the first round. You came back to control a lot of the fight from there. But how difficult was it to come back from that defeat? Did you have to, have to ask yourself some questions after that fight and in camp as well to ask yourself how much you, you want it? Because I have to be honest, like seeing you that night, you know, I, wasn't I weren't sure you'd be back, but I knew you took the defeat. You would take the defeat very badly. I think it'd be easy for me to sit here now and say, oh, I was fine. No, I'll be honest. I literally felt like the floor underneath me had been taken. I felt like my world was over. But you've got to hit rock bottom to come up again. And now I've had that bitter taste of what a loss is like. I am never going to taste it again. And it's made me the more, more determined. And I'm, to be honest, mentally and physically, I'm stronger than ever. One thing going into the Rachel Ball fight, because of the lack and depth of opposition in your weight class, you didn't really have many challenges. That was really the first challenge of your career. To any fighter that might suffer a defeat, you know, a young prospect coming through, how much do you think you learn from that compared to all your other victories that came quite easily? It could be a real defining moment for your career. Yeah, I think you learn probably more in a loss than you do in a, in a win because if you keep winning, you're just going to keep doing the same thing. So when you lose, you think, right, this has to be changed. This isn't good enough. Instead of looking at it as a thing, look at it as a lesson and a blessing. And that's what it has been. It's, I've learned so much from it. And you'll see that on Friday night, I'm a better fighter in every shape because of it. You haven't come back with an easy fight. Dorota's very, very tough. We've seen her. You know, she likes to come forward. She likes to spoil her work. She's aggressive. A um, little bit naughty as well, you know, with, with the arms. She's from the MMA background as well. But it's a big challenge for you over eight rounds. And, you know, it's not an easy fight to come back into. What's the point of being in this sport if you're going to keep taking easy touches? You want, if you want to be a world champion, you're going to have to step up and take the hard fights. And, yeah, I have watched her. She, she is a bit of a spoiler. She holds a lot. She can make the, the fight look unappealing to watch. So I've just got to stay calm, cool head, and I think timing is going to be key in this fight. Dorota, hello. We know you're going to speak in Polish, but a uh, big chance for you on Friday night. Uh, what do you know about Shannon Courtney and, and what should we expect from you in this fight? Przede wszystkim cieszę się, że mogę wystartować na tak prestiżowej gali. E, o walce dowiedziałam się w piątek, gdzie byłam na obozie MMA. Trenowałam zapasy, ale jestem wojownikiem, jestem zawsze gotowa do walki. E, oglądałam walki Shannon, myślę, że damy dobrą walkę. E, jeżeli chodzi o mój styl, no to styl mam bardzo agresywny, jestem zawodnikiem MMA, nie boję się dużych rękawic bokserskich, e, chcę pokazać dobrą walkę, dobre show, no i przyjechałam wygrać. Dorota said she's, she's bang up for it, basically, and she's, she's going for the knockout. No, we have the translation here, sorry. Thank you, Eddie. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be here and to participate in such a big event. I'm a warrior. I love to fight. I'm a fan of Shannon's. I've watched a lot of her fights. I know this will deliver for the fans. I come from the MMA background, as you mentioned, so I'm not scared of big boxing gloves. I promise to show my full potential and aggressive style. I'm here to win. Great teamwork. Well done. Thank you very much. Shannon, before I pose for a head-to-head -head, uh, here, I want to talk about, obviously, we know you have to get past Friday night as well, but that Rachel Ball fight, you saw her win the WBC interim title. That's a rematch you want badly at the start of the year. But right now, just pure focus on the Rotten Norek on Friday. 
My only focus right now is her Friday night. Once that's dealt with, Rachel Ball, I'll see you 2021. Thank you very much. If we could have a head-to-head -head here, please. Thank you. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.